Hey everybody, what's up? Kind of a special video today. I just passed a couple of milestones. In fact, one of them is happening as I post this video. It has been five years since I started posting cap content on my channel on YouTube. Um, now, interestingly enough, that happened within a week of just passing the 10,000 subscriber mark. I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that has tuned into my videos over these past five years, especially the ones who tuned in during the early years when I was very unsophisticated. Um, I'm not sure that I've come that far actually, but I think my production quality has increased over that five year period. And um, hopefully you continue to see that as well. Now that's also a giant thank you to the people that always told me and let me know when they learned something from my videos. And again, that kind of positive energy kept me wanting to make more content and kind of feed the channel and uh, just watch that subscriber base grow. So very appreciative of everyone that's gotten me to this point. And I just wanted to take a moment to look back on a few things that have happened along the way. I'll probably have to fall back on a couple of cliches in this video. And the first one I'm getting started with is I really wanted to get into making these videos as a way to give back, as we often say. I just learned so much from other YouTube creators, whether it was uh, repairing appliances around the house or uh, home improvement projects or uh, swapping out parts on my car to make small repairs. Just all those sort of functional videos that really helped me through. And I realized over time that I had built up some rituals and procedures with my fitted baseball caps. And I just felt like, man, I'm going to share some of these things because some other people might get some things out of it. So that's how I started the whole thing. Now, as a second thing that you've probably heard before, I would say, man, this has been an amazing journey. And that's something you always hear people say, but it's very true. You know, I, I would say that I started out under equipped and definitely unpolished. Looking back at my early videos, I realize and acknowledge that I did not even use a tripod for the first few. Um, I often had assistants filming me from my family. So uh, that was always tricky. Uh, it took me a long time to manage audio properly as well. The funny thing was I used a couple of different places around the house and one of the rooms had so little artwork or anything else on, this, on the walls that could absorb sound that I would actually hang some fleece blankets in that room when filming just to cut down on the reverb and the echo in the room. So uh, I've come a long way since then, since adding this space and backdrop behind me um, and uh, gotten a little bit more sophisticated and my production values have gone up since then. I know I'm not as professional as a lot of the other content creators that make a living doing this, but uh, still, I think I've gotten to a pretty good spot and uh, really enjoy producing content now that I don't have to rearrange furniture. Now, the other things that I've done in these five years is certainly put my fitted caps and other caps through a lot. Um, I've done stretching, shrinking, shaping, cleaning, and restoration of caps and repairs to caps. Some of the operations would probably fall under the category of minor surgery to my caps. And I've tried to share those all with my viewers so that hopefully you can get some things out of that and see what you want to do with your own caps. Again, to try and get the most out of the caps that you already have. I've also done a complete teardown of New Era 5950. I've got a background in engineering and science, so it's probably only natural, but I've certainly put my caps through a lot and uh, there's plenty of video evidence out there on my channel of what I've done to them along the way. Now, initially, I was kind of re-engaging with the fitted community. This was a good way for me to get back in connection with that after not having really done a lot of fitted collecting for a while. Um, until about 2015 was kind of the second phase of my life where I really got into fitteds. But there's such a rich history there and such good understanding, the history of New Era, the history of the 5950, and really high expectations for fitted caps. But then unfortunately we came to the point where New Era is closing their derby plant in early 2019. That was kind of a shock to a lot of us. 
And then we saw soon after that kind of this fitted renaissance and the explosion that we're seeing right now, which really probably started in around 2020. I mean, the seeds were probably there in 2019, but things really actually surprisingly took off during the pandemic. And with that, the emergence of all these custom designs, custom takes on sometimes teams or sometimes unique designs and the rapidly rising prices that we've seen really since 2020 into present day 2022. Demand does not seem to be slowing down, so it just appears that we've got to live with those prices for the time being. Now, I have also personally changed in my approach to caps in that five-year period. I would say I went from eagerly awaiting each new major collection release from New Era or Lids or others uh, on a large scale to the point where I started paying attention to some of the smaller vendors and now I'm almost completely overwhelmed with how frequent the daily, weekly, cap releases are and, and how broad ranging the collections can be. I went from really loving the new directions in colors and designs to really dreading a little bit um, because it just seems like we're oversaturated with vendors that are getting into the fitted game and releasing and really pumping the well for all it's worth in terms of designs, colorways, side patches, etc. I've personally certainly gone from a moment of anticipation when I would look forward to the next collections and it seems like they didn't come out that often to a point where hardly any of them move the needle for me anymore because there are so many coming out that uh, it's really difficult to keep track of them all. And uh, uh, more so financially, it's hard to collect something from every group of caps that is released. So I've had to slow down on that personally. I went from thinking that a side patch was kind of a special commemorative thing to now where I'm wondering when will the side patch become the exception rather than the rule on new caps. It just seems like vendors of these caps are just mining that for all it's worth. So it's taken away some of the special nature of these side patches. What lies ahead for me is probably just staying focused on helping you get the most out of your fitted caps. So with the fact that the design reviews and the collections are outpacing my ability to record videos on that, I'll probably switch a little bit more towards a focus on getting the most out of caps that you already own. But the other thing that can be said is that I'm kind of thinking about different kinds of hats. I mean, after all, I'm really a hat guy at heart, regardless of whether it's a 5950. I own lots of different kinds of hats and caps, and I wear a lot of them for different situations day to day, week to week. So um, there may be a little bit more diverse content in terms of hat types in the future. So with all of that said, I wanted to say thank you once again for helping me hit these couple of milestones and giving me the energy to do it for five years. But as always, a standard outro here. I've got links to some of my best videos that teach you how to do different things with your caps. Those can be found in the description below. As with any other video, I'll also just say thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.